Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am home alone and I've got to get some chores done. I've got to go take care of our chickens and our ducks. So let's head on out and get the chores tackled today. That's right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So it is a cold day here in central Michigan and uh, well cold weather or not these animals need to be fed they need to be given water some fresh bedding and my guys are out plowing because we did get some snow so that means I have to come out and take care of the animals and I let me tell you it's a bit tricky because I've been having back problems for the past two weeks and so trying to lug some water out here and bend it over and feed and things like that is a bit of a, a tackle for me. But with the Lord's help, we're going to get it done. So let's get these animals fed and uh, make sure that they're all set to go to get through this cold, blistery day. We've got the food and we've got a bucket of uh, water ready to go. We're going to let the ducks out first so they can come eat and drink while we go get some more water and then we're going to let the chickens out. The ducks are skittish, so I actually had to get out of the run for them to come over and get some food and water. That's one thing about these khaki camel ducks is they're quite skittish. But as you can see, once I exited the run, they're happy to come get food and water. One of the things I also like to do when it's this cold and when there's snow on the ground is put some covering on the ground for our chickens to walk on and forage in. Um, not everybody does this, but I find that uh, my chickens, they don't like to be out on the snow. Um, if you think about walking bare feet in the snow all the time with nowhere to dry to stand, it's cold and uncomfortable. And the chickens don't like being on the snow in the cold with nothing to do. Um, the ground is covered, the ground is frozen, so there's not a lot 
uh, foraging that they can do with the ground in its current condition. So I go ahead and I just put uh, some straw on the ground, give them something to walk on, and something to do to kind of keep their minds occupied in this wintry cold season. So I'm going to get into our shed here and get some straw, and we're going to go out there and give the chickens something to walk on. So again, not everybody does this. Um, each person's flock is different, but uh, I found that for our flock, they're very picky. They don't like being on this cold ground. I really don't blame them. And so I just take some straw and I'm going to put it down between the coop and the uh, feed area. And that generally gets them out of the coop. If I don't put something down, they won't come out unless they absolutely have to. And then they stay in the coop. Now, if our coop was bigger, it wouldn't be such a big deal if they stayed inside. But our coop is kind of small. So them being in there all day long isn't exactly very healthy for them. I want them to come out, get some fresh air. And also giving them the straw gives them something to forage in, something to do, so they're not bored. Bored chickens tend to become aggressive towards each other because they have to have something to do. So they can bully on each other, they can bully on the ducks. So we're just going to give them something to walk on and something to do. And it kind of helps enrich their lives a little bit during this season. You can see that some are still hesitant to come out. They don't like the snow at all. And uh, like I said, not everybody has this problem, um, but we tend to here. So we just try to make the chickens as comfortable as possible and give them reasons to come out and get some fresh air and some exercise. The ducks are definitely saying no thank you. They'd rather be in their uh, straw enclosed house there. So we're just going to let them be. We generally close up their coop during the day so the chickens don't get in there and kick all the straw out. But uh, we want to make sure that uh, the ducks have a place dry that they can go in and get out of the uh, weather. So. You know, you win some, you lose some, you have to pick your battles. And today, the battle is keeping these animals comfortable, warm, and dry. So I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, walk with me today, taking care of the animals. Generally, my husband takes care of them for me uh, since I have...
some chronic health issues that slow me down a little bit. But again, him and our son are out plowing today. And so I have to take care of the chores. And uh, so we're out here. I'm a little cold, but uh, you know, watching the animals just get out and enjoy themselves and be happy, healthy animals. It's worth coming out and getting a little cold for. So thank you for being with me today and watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Love to have you along on the journey. There's a lot more in store as the weather rolls and we continue on planning on the garden and other little tidbits that we're going to be doing. So make sure that you stick around. And I hope that wherever you are, you're wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.